Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Age of Decadence. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today, because, well, I've been trying to craft, I've, I've been looking into the crafting system, that's basically it. And, um, yeah, well, it's, there's no advantage at the moment with my crafting skill to craft anything other than what I have bef already. So we have this, this Imperial Guards Lorica Segmentata, which is a little bit worse than this one. As you can see, the defense rating is the same, but the armor hardness is less at, um, at the expense of everything else. Also, have armor penalty is a little bit less, so I don't know. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Uh, I'm gonna keep this one, though. Because we are a block character, uh, so let's speak, uh, talk with the blacksmith. I'm gonna buy some uh, crafting recipes, namely the armor mechanics, heavy metal. Yes, because that's the route I am going. I'm also gonna sell some of my stuff, but um, I'm also gonna buy a couple of these. Maybe a couple, maybe one. I don't know. How long does it last? Uh, so we have four crafting, I think, at the moment. So that would mean that we increase our damage by two, which is pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna buy a single one. Uh, and then I'm gonna sell all of this crap. Uh, not all of it, actually, yeah, I'm just gonna sell the heavy stuff. Um, so this is weighing two pounds, that's not a lot. This one weighs one, but it's too cheap. No point in keeping it around, because uh, I don't know whether or not I'll improve my bartering here, so... Uh, never know, you never know. So let's sell all this crap that's not really expensive. Sell all of that as well. And I'm gonna buy some poison as well, because as I said at the end of last episode, this is one where we will fight almost for sure. I'm also gonna drop these. I just have two, so eh, might as well keep them. Uh, let's sell these. Uh, yeah, they, they might come in handy. I don't think so, though. I don't think so. Let's just trade that, and we are good. Let's buy some poison, because I know there's a trader around here. Uh, wasn't it the alchemist? That sold poison. I mean, I suppose. Them. Let's see if this guy sells anything. So, let's see. So he's uh, no. It's it's just a clothes trader. No, I'm not interested in that. Alchemist. Hi. How's it going, man? Uh, what ails you, my friend? Nothing at the moment, fortunately. I think. Uh, let's buy. Yeah. Let's make sure that nothing hails me. Uh, so he doesn't have poison. That's bad news. Yes. Something very terrible ails me, my friend. I need to be fixed. But not right now. Not right away. We'll see how things go. Uh, I will need to buy stuff. Okay, we're not gonna get into a fight right now, so it's it should be okay. Let's save the game and let's talk with Amulus. Remember Amulus? Yeah, this was the guy that we saved outside of the gates, and he uh, had us pay for his entrance. Or well, I guess we offered to pay for his entrance, and now he should be eternally grateful to me. Do you want to take a look at my wares? Uh, what ha what happened to your village? Raiders. It's getting really bad out there. The wasteland breeds this scum faster than ever before. Ten years ago, we were able to fend for ourselves. Last year, we spent more time fighting off raiders than farming. You just can't survive on your own anymore. So there's nothing left? Uh, there are a few places here and there. If they are well defended, they have a chance, but for how long? Once raiders come, you start losing men, and then it's only a matter of time. You need something that keeps raiders away. What would keep them away? I've heard a place called Inferii, aptly named. In the old days, the word meant sacrifice offered to the souls of the dead e heroes. They say the village is built around a pit which connects this world with, a, with the one below. Some say it leads into Tar Tartarus itself. Tartarus? Huh. I don't know if it's true or not, but I was told the raiders avoid Inferii as if it were the plague. The locals have a habit of throwing lone travelers down into the pit, so thanks souls the below. Thanks the souls below for their protection and blessing. Maybe it's their madness that keeps them s safe. Maybe it's the souls of those long gone, I tell you, Tertius. The wasteland can be a very strange place sometimes. Oh, wait, Tertius. Don't leave. I need, I, need you, I need to talk to you about something. When our settlement was attacked, the writing was already on the wall. We had less than 20 men left, most of them wounded and from previous attacks. It was a bad year for us, so we grabbed what we could and ran away. I, I'm not proud of it, but dying with the rest of them wouldn't have made any difference. My family comes first, principal second. I had money, a lot of money. If you can get it for me, a third is yours. Wait. What? Do you think it's still there? Okay, what? Huh. Your money? Okay, okay, I understand now. He wants me to get his money. Do you think it's still there? The stash is well hidden. Which is why I couldn't get to him in, to it in time. You need to know where to look. Give me your word and I'll tell you. You trust a stranger, huh? 
I don't have a choice. I'm not going back there, so if I trust no one, my money is, back, is as good as gone. If I make a deal with you, I get a chance to get some money back. I asked around about you, Turches. They say you keep your word, so that's good enough for me. So, do I have your word? Sure. I think so. Right? How much is there? F 1,200 Imperials? Oh, for 400. It's not that bad. The Wasteland has been kind to you, Amulus. What are you saying? I'm saying this is more. there's more to this story than what you have told me. I've told you all you need to know, Tertius. Are you in or are you out? I am in. Let me mark the settlement on your map. The money is buried near the old well. Take two steps south and start digging. Okay. Hopefully I don't need a shovel for that because I don't have one at the moment. We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. Uh, so, should I have paid attention or is the... I'm gonna look at the... Uh, yeah. The quest log might show me where it is, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. For now, I think that is that for MLS. He didn't pay us back because we didn't we didn't ask him to pay us back, but he will pay us back in kind with that 400 gold. Of course, Klepta wouldn't stand for that, but yeah, Turches will. Turches will. So f now we are gonna do a quest that we took a long while ago. Uh, and it's called Lore Master's Rivalry and get rid of Cassius uh, or Cassius arrival Lore Master. So we know where he is. Let's go there. Let's go there. So I could use a teleporter, and I probably should, but I'm gonna just gonna go past here. Thanks, place. Hi, man. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be back. And let's go over there. There's a merchant over here. It doesn't sell anything. He doesn't say anything. I'm not gonna talk to him because you never know if the if later on. Gonna, actually, a lot of these things are in inconsequential, so because I already know a few of them, after I leave Terran, which will should happen in the next episode, I, s I think, or maybe the one after that, we'll see. Uh, but after I leave Terran, I'll, I'll go around and see if there's anything new that I can see. Uh, so, let's go into the tavern. Is it the first time we were here? I mean, through the front door? No, we started the game here. We got a story teller over here, not gonna talk to him. We got Cassius over there, that's the one who you want to talk to. And we got an alchemist there. So, uh, you might be deriving some of... some cons... cons uh, some... Uh, conclusions of the fact that I am only at 5 health right now. Let's see... Uh, you look like shit, Tertius. Do you want me to fetch the dock? Uh, sure. Are you gonna... Are, is he gonna pay me... what? Let me see, says the doctor. Several skull fractures, intracranial bleeding, cerebral contusion, multiple organ failures, internal bleeding. Frankly, I'm surprised you're still breathing. It appears that your armor is holding you in one piece. Most remarkable. Fortunately for you, we have no shortage of fresh cadavers with plenty of spare parts. In fact, I have a piece of cranium that will fit this hole perfectly. If you have a hundred Imperials, we can start right now. No, another time. That's tough. It just goes with the healing palm. It just goes away. So we are cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I didn't know he was gonna offer to fix me up. I mean, 100 Imperials. Don't need that. Don't need that right now. Let's talk to Cassius. 42-year-old lore master Cassius, contemptuously called Young Cassius by his gray-haired colleagues, has never understood the appeal of digging through dirt and ruins like a rat. Instead, he preferred to spend his time among neatly preserved scrolls, studying the works of many prominent lore masters of the antiquity and hundreds of accompanying com commentaries he considered indispensable. Master Cassius was working on his second tractate, analyzing manifestations of the divine will uh, divine will in year 4052, when Antidas' emissaries invited him to Terran. Cassius arrived ear early and was getting tired of waiting when you showed up and graced him with your attention. Is there something you want? He asks. Uh, let's see. Yes. Lord Antidas has sent me to escort you. Follow me. What do you want? I'd like to introduce you to the mas to Master Cassius over here, who is a personal guest of Lord Antidas. Master Fang asked me to kill him, but as soon as I learned that Lord Antidas was involved, I immediately thought... You thought that Lord Antidas will pay you more to keep Cassius alive. Can I speak with Lord Antidas? Go on. Okay. Let's go see Lord Antidas. It better be important, Tertius. My lord, I'd like to pledge... M no, I won't. What? Okay, uh... Did I screw things up right there? I think I have. I think I have. Talk to Deller. 
Uh, you can't. I I'm here to see Master Cassius. Okay, so yeah, that's what I want to do. Uh, so basically, I didn't want to see Lord Antidus. I just wanted to um, guard Scorturgius to Master Cassius. Yeah, let's go there. Um, Master Tertius says Cassius, bowing his head slightly. How may I, how may I be of assistance? I wanted to ask you some questions. Oh, what do you want to know, Tertius? Well, I want to learn more about the war with Gantari and the summoned allies. So this is new stuff. I have never seen this before. Because we didn't choose... Well, we chose to kill him before. Both times, I think. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Actually, I wrote a tractate on the Cantaris allies 12 years ago when Lord Meru was looking for a new lore master. The allies, as you call them, had a number of different names, which reflect how little we know about them. Most texts we have now have been written long after the events in question. They reflect beliefs of those who wrote them. Some wanted to believe in higher powers and thought our allies to be long-forgotten gods, finally returning to aid their children in the hour of need. Others believed, quite arrogant, arrogantly I might add, that the allies were kings of the otherworldly realms, peers of the emperor. Even the names were spelled in so many different ways that it's almost impossible to tell what the original names were. The one we called Thoragoth, for example, was originally referred to as Thor Agath Athagoth and Thoragoth. Oh, yeah. Uh, even the very nature of the High Lords is debatable. Many accounts describe the four Cantari gods as terrifying beast like creatures. For example, there, these, there are several different accounts of the Battle of Astias, all claiming the same thing. Ul Zerath rose from the deep and attacked the legions of General Cancion, ca slaughtering over a thousand soldiers before the Magi forced him to retreat. A single being killed over a thousand soldiers. Have you ever read Amanus? <laughs> In the Battle of Zagoth, Zagos, Lord Esbanus. Esbanus? Wasn't he one of the. the High Lords? I think so. Yeah, he's one of the High Lords. In the Battle of the, of the Zagos, Lord Esbanus sent forth his five beasts in advance to the Phalanx. Oh, no, 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 he was the Emperor, I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh, neither the... Oh, I, who the hell was... I don't know. I don't know, guys. Sorry. Uh, neither the Galathians themselves nor their horses had previously seen such beasts, and they were so confused by the unexpected sight that they turned and fled in a disorderly rout before they were within bowshot. The beasts plowed through the remaining Galathian... Leg legionnaires with a devastating effect. Slowly marching beasts, frightful with their wrinkled bodies, were a hideous spectacle, dreadful beyond every form of horror, as I have often declared. Do you know what these hideous beasts were? Elephants. So take what you read with a grain of salt. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah. That, that, that is, yeah. Yeah. So what happened to the gods? It's a good question. It is said that the Cantaris gods were cast into the abyss, and that our gods have departed shortly after. Myths and legends rarely give you the answer you seek, Tertius. Yeah, we kind of know what happened there. We'll see. We'll we'll get to see a lot in this playthrough. I'm very hyped for, for what's gonna happen, because, well, we, we just keep seeing stuff that I haven't seen before. And this is the Age of Decadence for you. <laughs> you keep replaying, and you will keep seeing more and more. 500 and 10,000, yeah, 510,000 words written for this game. My god. Anyway, can I ask something else? What do you want to know, Tertius? Uh, what do you think this... Oh, no, that's not... Yeah, let's go with this one. I, I'm here for this thing. So is there anything you can teach me? Why, certainly. I'm not sure where to start, as you aren't what I would call a scholar. Well, let's try the basics. Cassius subjects you to a remarkably painful lesson on metallurgy, history, and good manners. Fortunately, you manage to pick up a thing or two before your mind goes into self-preservation mode. <laughs> and I just picked up lore. Uh, would you teach me about crafting and, and uh, etiquette? I think so, if I didn't have any. Okay, uh, so I think I'm gonna go with this one. I'm not sure if he's gonna take it. I hope not. Let's ask, it ab let's ask him about the jellyfish artifact that we found. Oh, interesting. It appears that the crystal is storing power, maybe even generating or converting it. This artifact reminds me of the power tubes, which begs the question, what does it do to that tubes that the tubes can't? Unless the power it stores is somehow unique and can be recognized by the receiving device, which would make it, well, a key. If you ever find the door that this key opens, do me a favor and let me know. I'd love to take a look. Okay, that's awesome. That is awesome, because I know what that jellyfish artifact is for. Uh, and I might have hinted it a uh, already, or said it out loud, but uh, I hope I haven't, because I don't want to spoil too much. Thessalus is not going to say anything to us. Uh, but we are good. Yeah, this thing, this thing over here. Where is it? Oh, this is Gracious map. Where? This is the other map. Yeah, there it is. A 
can try the lore, but the language is unfamiliar. Don't worry, we will get there. We will get there. But where is the other one? I can't use this one. This is the letter. The letter, the season disease. Uh, yeah, that's the guy needs to. Ah, uh, there it is. There's the jellyfish artifact. So apparently it's like the power tubes. And I have power tubes over here, although I call them modules because I don't know what they are because I'm a dumbass. I am a dumb. I am dumb. Let's see, how much lore did I get? Three? Man, that's a lot of lore right there. That is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Okay, uh, let me save the game. And let's go into the next part of uh, this episode. So we received training from Cassius. Uh, go to Fang's house. That's what we're gonna do. And not go there. Don't go there. Don't activate that guy. I don't want to activate him. Um... Oh, did I activate him already? No, I didn't. I would have done that on camera if I had. So let's go to Fangs and read one of his documents. Oh, that's right, because he got... He got... That's right. Master Fang. Did he get... Yeah. He's gone. He got... Uh, he went to prison. Or got executed. I wouldn't know. So he's gone. And we got a lot of stuff to read. A lot of stuff. Do you remember? It has been such a long while since we were here and actually could do anything. Yeah, that's Kato at the beginning, at the very beginning. Um, so let's see, you got junk over here, a pile of assorted junk, we got a goblet over here. From a few feet away, the goblet looks like it's made of solid gold, but it reveals that it's anything but, upon a closer examination. And we got, what do we have over here, nothing. Junk, I can't really look into the junk, let me look at the junk, nope, not really. A pile of assorted junk, that should be the other thing as well. The linen chest is old and broken in some places, it's unlocked and predictably contains nothing of interest. Not that you would expect Feng to keep anything valuable out in the open. Yeah, that's not what we're here for. Let's see this table. Table! Small wooden box used as a bedside table, there is nothing of interest there. So, let's see what I can do here, we got a desk. Feng's desk. Notes, scandals, writing materials. It appears that Feng is interested in General Marcellus Galbo, a fami uh, famous military tactician and strategist of the Old Empire. Well, it's a large, carefully restored document tracing the histories of House Daratan throughout the centuries. Turns out the house owes its name to the Battle of Daratan, where certain legates managed to defeat an army of 20,000 men with less than a full legion. And that means my, score sk my lore skill has been increased by one. See? This is fantastic. Fa the reason, I think, why you don't want a lore master at the beginning of the game with four lore or more. And I didn't know, of course I didn't know that, but I started playing the game. But now, you know. Never go with full lore at the beginning uh, right here, because uh, there's no point, I don't think. I, I'm, uh, there might be, actually, now that I think of it. Because you don't arrive here until you complete your your, uh, what's it called, the, uh, the vignette, the opening vignette. So let's see these boxes. Feng's personal archive, boxes with scrolls. There doesn't appear to be any fi filing system, so Feng is probably the only one who can find anything in there. You browse through the scrolls and manage to spot a very few... What? Uh, you browse through the scrolls and manage to spot a very informative and illustrative treatise on locks. Pictures are definitely worth a thousand words. And my lockpick has increased, and I also gained some skill points right there. Awesome! Awesome! Good, 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 good. So I'm gonna save these. I'm gonna be saving these because, um, because I will be saving this. Let's see. It's a large, carefully restored document tracing the history of House Daratan. Another one? Is it the same? I think it is the same. So we're good. We got everything we wanted to get. Let's go upstairs, though, because I didn't go upstairs the last time I was here. I went downstairs, and I and Master Fang kind of heard what I was doing. The boxes are fi filled. Why is it I say filed? Are filled with worthless junk. Worthless junk is not something that I need. Unless I can sell it for one gold, in which case I might go for it. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. We're good. We're good. Let me save the game here. And uh, next, we are also... Um, okay, okay. We have arrived, ladies and gentlemen. We have arrived at that moment. We're gonna kill some fools. Yes, we are. Unfortunately, uh, I need to spend some money. I need to spend some money. So, instead of paying a, th a hundred Imperials to, um, actually, it's not the place. Instead of paying a hundred Imperials to see my health back up to full, I am at 40, so that should be two healing solves. Let's see. Uh, oh, no! Damn it! No, maybe another time. Bye-bye. No, 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 no. I don't want to mess around with you, guy. You know who that guy is? Militias or Miltias or whatever. Yeah, we're going to mess with him, but not right now. Not right away. This That's gonna be a fun fight. Yeah. Well, we're back here. 
We are, are we good on our lore? I think we are for lore. I think we're good. So let's go up here. Let's buy ourselves some poison. Let's buy ourselves, actually I need the poison, I, I think. Pretty sure I do. Uh, let's buy ourselves some healing equipment, because we need that. And, uh, so, who sells poison though? I, mm, somebody does, I suppose. So this guy sells, let's see, so this is 37. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna take a couple. I'm gonna take a couple right there. Thank you. So that's way better than going for the uh, dentist. <laughs> uh, let's take that, and we're good to go. Let's heal up. There you go. A couple of times. We are good. We got 40 health right there. That's perfect. Let's see who sells poison. I think it was this guy, maybe? Or do I need to know what to ask or something? I don't... I wouldn't know. Do we sell stuff? No, this guy sells tunics. Was it this guy? Somebody here sells poison. Yeah, I need to know what to ask, I think. It's kind of a shame if this guy sells anything. No, they don't sell anything. There's another merchant around the corner. I think there's a merchant there. And there's a merchant here. So, but they are just general merchants, I think. Yes. Unless this one is not. No, this is a... Oh, that one might sell it. But I don't want to go there. I want to go there right now. Let's go to a place that I haven't been to as Klepta because I forgot about it, basically. I don't think I came here with Klepta. But yeah, there's, there's gang members over here. And we're gonna fight them, but not before I try and do this. Let me save the game before I screw things up, because you never know. Uh, let's use this. Oh, there it is. So for 10 attacks, it's gonna have two... Oh, that's pretty cool. Is it for 10 hits, or... I don't know. We'll see how it works. First time I'm using that. It's the first time I'm using that. You see a small group of thugs harassing the passers the passerby while drinking wine. It might be wiser to turn around. It very well is, but I need to keep walking. Seeing that you're alone, the thugs come to the conclusion that you'd make an easy victim, encouraging each other with shouts. They block excuse me. They block the road and wait for your approach. Let's attack them. Not from a distance. Why would I want to attack them from a distance? That wouldn't be That might not be a bad idea. I don't have ropes, I don't have uh, mesh, not ropes, but, you know, the things, the, the nets, yes, nets. So they, yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea, because they are gonna amass here. So I want to keep as few of them on me as possible. So I could be there, and I'd have two or possibly three, but I'm gonna stay here, because when they come here, they're gonna be stabbed in the face. In the face! Let's see, this would be, actually, wouldn't be a bad idea to equip a, a bomb, and I have one right there. Uh, well, let's go... Let's go, let's go, let's do this thing. I'm gonna buy pe Oh no! That guy's ranged! Okay, that's not too bad. It's not too bad, I got two damage. That's not bad, it's not terrible. Let's wait. Son of a whore. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Missed me, sucker! That guy. Okay, one damage right there. That is gonna be a problem. But this guy, let's see. Mm, it's gonna be a yeah, it's gonna be problematic. I'm not gonna be able to hit them properly. I could kite them, but the uh, eh, well, I'm gonna stay here. I could I should have gone for the shield bash right there. I'm not blocking anything, damn it. I could I could yeah I could increase one of my uh, one of my combat skill points, but I think this is doable. I got, oh, they go around. Okay, that's bad news. Let's go. Let's keep going for the ha the legs because we're dealing damage. Let's go with a shield bash here. I can't go for the shield bash. Okay. Well, in that case, how about I go there? So he need to move. He needs to move a little bit to take one another health point away from me and that guy. I just want him to run out of throwing axes, whatever they have. That one is the knife. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I need I need this guy gone. Let's go with the legs there and let's go with an aimed hat. There you go, 10 points of damage right there. So this is on actual hits that uh, that it uh, decreases that damage, so that's pretty cool. I think this is doable, especially if these guys run out of, of uh, ammo. But I need these guys gone. Uh, yeah, this is definitely doable, but it's it's kind of tricky. Okay, so that makes it, that means it's... There you go, okay, so he should die, or maybe... Oh no! Oh, he's got an axe of his own, damn it! I hope he's crap at that. Okay, uh, let's see, I can't attack that guy anymore, that's bad news. That leader, though. Oh, really? Why are you gonna be like that, man? Why are you gonna be like that?
You try to get up, but you can't. We've seen this. We've seen this. Don't worry. Let's, uh... I have the quick save right here. Let's try an approach. Let's try and see what which one is better. Because I don't know which one is better. Uh, let's see. So I have... Uh... Okay, yeah, there it is. No, it's not the way. Oh, I'm back here still? Oh, I still haven't done that! Damn it. I apologize, guys. I apologize. There we go. Okay, so that is gonna help me a bit. But I think the poison would be better. So I'm gonna try... Uh, I was gonna say which one is better. Which one... Uh, which approach is better? Did I... I wasn't explicit on that. From time to time I say stu stupid stuff like that. Let's keep walking. Let's approach. Where do you think you're going, dumb fuck? One of the thugs inquires. Oh, that is right. I was missing that point. Let's slit his throat with a critical strike and then our fight is gonna be a little bit better. Yeah, it says in the walkthrough, but I just... I was... I just didn't read. Anyway, well, that was fun. That was a fun encounter. Let's slit his throat. Too bad you don't have this. Oh, I don't have a small dagger. Well, that should be easy to fix, right? I sold it. Yeah, that is a bad... I, that's a bad thing. So I need... I didn't know I, I, I needed a, a small dagger. Because I think before there was a description that reads, uh, you attack somebody with your dagger, and I didn't have one at the time. So, I'm just gonna buy mine back. It's a shame that I need to waste money, but, um, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's probably, it's unlikely. Let's see, so, I need to browse your wares. You have mine. Do you have a dagger? You should have a dagger for pretty cheap. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Let's see, do you have anything cheaper than that? <laughs> Six gold. It's pretty cheap. No, uh, 10 gold. You know, like it, uh, that one, but this one will suffice. So I'll take one. Thank you. Thank you for your generosity. For selling me that for about eight, <laughs> eight times or six times the amount of money that it costs you. But whatever, let's keep going. Where is this? There we go. Yeah. Of course, I'm terrible at, at, at uh, bartering, so that explains what is going on. Let's go in here. Let's do that critical strike right there. Keep walking. Approach. Critical strike. Your dagger flashes up, slicing, slicing the thug's throat in one fluid motion, splattering the rest of his gang with blood. As he collapses, you prepare yourself to deal with the others. So I think what happened... I think what happened is... There you go. The guy's dead. Uh, so I think what happened is uh, the patch changed something here. Oh man, is that blood? Damn it! That's blood, I think. They were punching that guy. What happened there? I don't... So I came from there. How the hell? They, weren't they doing arresting somebody here? I don't know. Anyway, let's kill these fools until we die. So I'm gonna try and go for this big guy because he can... They all have bronze weapons, so that's not too terrible. But he definitely can... Let's go with that, yeah. So he definitely can... Let's see, let's approach him. There you go. That was actually very, a very, very good knockback right there because he used a lot of action points. But he, he can knock us down. That is a very problematic thing. And there we go, for 81% chance to hit right there, hopefully I will hit, 66, there you go, 6 damage, or 9 damage actually, pretty good, yeah, this, this is a very good, see, that's what you get, no, that's not what you get, yeah, 0 and 1 damage, or 1 and 0 damage, but that, that guy, I need to take care of him, for, I don't know which one is worse, I don't know which one is worse, damn it, okay, Let's do it like this. He's badly wounded, so I'm gonna go with two attacks on him. I'm gonna shield bash this guy and miss. Let's see what happens. 11 damage? Man! I'm gonna require this. And they're damaging my armor as well. Sons of a whore. All of them, of the same whore. All of them. They're all the same sons of the same whore. I hope this guy goes down right now. Yes, he does. So he cannot attack. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be lucky. I'm gonna have to do this off camera. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, let's try and go for this guy. Let's see. Uh, this one. Jesus. Why? What happened to me? Am I concussed or something? Arm injury. Oh, that's what what's going on right now. I... There you go. See? And I die. There we go. Well, I'm gonna do this off camera. Don't worry. I got your backs, guys. I got your backs. And on to the next episode, we'll see what happens next. But for now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been The Age of Decadence. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much, so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.